What's up, guys? Welcome back from the MLG Studios here in New York City. I'm Axel Toss, joined by Axel Live, and we're currently watching day two of the WCS America Challenger League. Of course, a lot of awesome StarCraft happening all day long. Of course, early in the morning, we started with WCS Korea, the round of eight great matches there. And then, of course, we had the first day one of the round of 16 of WCS EU. And now we're here. Uh, of course, right now, it's we're approaching 7 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for staying up late uh, if you're in Europe with us uh, to watch the Challenger League. Game three between the Muslim and Maker. Both players are ready. Nick, I'm hitting the start game button. Let's do it. I hope that's okay with you. That game two is pretty crazy. It was amazing. You know, that was really fun to watch. It was. I felt the Muslim had the advantage for most of that game yeah. with, with the faster third base. Macro of a bigger army was ahead in upgrades. Then it came down to a base race, and uh, Maker made the better decisions on how to handle that base race situation. He immediately sieged up his tanks in his main and, and was able to defend. Uh, the Muslim knew how important it was to camp the production, and he sent like two to three dropships there. Yeah. But Maker was just barely able to defend, pulling the right amount of SCVs. And, and once he was able to preserve his main, he was able to rebuild and, and get that second army uh, going. And, you know, Neoplanet S, that's a map where that stuff happens. You have those two distinct passageways. Ships are allowed to pass in the night. That does happen, and that's exactly what happened there. You know, I think if the Muslim was aware of that, that that was happening, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have went over to base race. Yeah. I mean, he, that, uh, we see a lot of players, um, especially like Flash and stuff. He'll always just put one Marine or one Widow Mine on the path he's not going on, uh, and just keep tabs on it. You know, um, they try to incorporate those sensor towers too. Yeah. But so here we have. Yep. At the top left on Akalon Waste. The Red Terran Maker. His opponent at the bottom right was looking strong until the base race occurred. The Blue Terran, the Muslim. SCV representing each player in this game, which is fine. That's their leaders. That's yeah. right now. This is like the first guy doing work for them besides mining. I mean, it's it, that SCV is never randomly selected. You're right. It's, it's always the leader. He's the guy who has been. Tasked, he's been given the blueprints on the supply depots, on the barracks. They don't trust just any SCV. No. Every SCV can mine minerals, but yeah. to spend minerals, that's where you got to put the faith in. Exactly. A no. little bit of interesting chat there. The Muslim saying, "Oh, guess you know my builds." <laughs> and you know that happens. Yeah. These players definitely study each other. The Muslim, he streams all the time, so he shows exactly what he does. Uh, and he, he lets it's it's available for everyone to see. So, you know, that's another one of the risks of streaming, I guess, is people are able to really study that if they want to. Which I'm sure be. Maker did, right? Yeah, uh, of course. And that actually might have worked against Maker in the first game because he clearly had no idea that the Muslim was going to hit that timing. Uh, and, and that's a build I haven't seen the Muslim use often on, on ladder either. So it, it could be, you know, Maker's playing to what he knows of the Muslim. Game one, the Muslim does something offbeat and, and catches Maker off guard. Game two, Maker, you know, totally saw that Cloak Banshee coming, and he was absolutely ready for it. Defended that very well right off the bat. Looking at openings here, we have Maker going for the faster factory in this game. Both players staying on one gas for now. The map, Akalon Wastes, one of the, the larger rush distance maps in our map pool, I would say. Very, very, uh... Relatively easy to take three bases and hold three bases. Drops are generally a big deal on this map because there is airspace in between extra bases that, that you can take advantage of. So that should be something very interesting to look out for. But we see Muslim adding on his command center before his opponent and Maker putting on a tech lab. The factories, we see the uh, destructible rocks getting killed there. Most players like to kill those destructible rocks because, of course, you can accidentally misclick later on and, and yeah. you can mess up your, your micro during an engagement. So a lot of players take those out early just to make sure there, there's no happenstance of that. Of course, the reason those rocks are there is so Protosses or Terrans can't wall in uh, a Zerg opponent at the start of the game and then just yes. win the game because, uh, of course, Protoss has Photon Cannons, Terran has Marines. Zerg doesn't have any ranged unit they can get right out the bat uh, because Spine Crawlers can't be built off creep. Very, very true. See, proxy hatches sometimes happen. Yes. Uh, you know, that would be an interesting counter to one of those people tries to, well, you might oh, yeah. start. Except I don't I don't think you could get it close you, enough. You'd have to get a drone across the map. That's one of the, the major things there. Yeah. Which is hard if your opponent's walling outside your main. Very difficult to, to walk through a wall. Yeah. Um, oh, we see here the Muslim going for the, the Hellbat drop. But he's doing it the way 
I, I personally like it better. You get that expansion first, and then you go into Hellbat drops. So it's not like, okay, I've got to kill a bunch of workers with my Hellbat drop. Because then if your opponent has Marines in a mine waiting there and you have to run away, yep. you're like, well, this, this didn't work. I'm just way behind. But if you get the expansion first, yes, it hits a little bit slower, but you're not committed to having to do crippling damage. As long as you know your drop doesn't totally die and not kill anything, uh, you're going to be in a, in a fine spot. I love the placement of that armory as, uh, you know, if your opponent scans and it's going to be pretty hard to see that armory all the way on the left-hand side. However, it can get a little bit dangerous if, like, Banshees are in play, um, which is not happening here for Maker. Maker, I don't think he doesn't even have a second command center yet. So uh, he's investing a lot into this one base aggression, lots of Marines, tanks, and Vikings. And now the Muslim knows exactly what's going on, and now he has to make a decision. Does he send a medevac with Hellbats across the map, or does he keep everything back home to fend off this aggression? I, I think he probably definitely wants to keep everything back home until he kills this push, then he can counterattack. This is a push that actually uh, could get slaughtered by <laughs> dropping Hellbats on top of the Marines and tanks. If, if the Muslim gets, you know, four, five, ah. six Hellbats by the time that attack comes, he could... Oh, and there's a Widow Mine too in oh, front of the Muslim's base! The Widow Mine! Uh, the Viking's gonna take, take one for the okay. team there. Poor All right. Viking. And uh, one Marine is gonna volunteer to come forward and look for any more Widow Mines, but he sees three Hellbats up there. And he's gonna back I think away. he has to back away. I mean, he knows, yes, he can try to micro against three Hellbats, but what happens when five Hellbats come, his second Medivac comes, and they get, you know, Ignite after burn, just drop right on top of the army. Uh, so very, very smart move for him to retreat. And uh, this opening definitely goes into Muslim's favor, a faster expansion, and, and he's got map control too now with the Hellbats and the Medivacs. All right, yeah, the, the second command center just now going down here for Maker. He's still gonna be restricted to one base to Muslim. Dropping down his natural at his natural expansion, or his second command at his natural expansion. The medevacs are angry. They're chasing. They can't kill that army. Though. They could have if it didn't meet up with his extra seven marines. Uh, in fact, he no. The Muslim, is he oh gonna, my! He he's gonna try it anyway. Uh. He killed a lot of marines. He did. And he got a siege tank. I don't actually, like, I thought that was going to be horribly, because he dropped, you know... Yeah, uh, I think it was still pretty bad for the Muslim. But, again, he has his second command center pretty early. Because the unit's lost yes. is 900 to 40, uh, 475. Yeah, that's, that's not good. It's like... Um, and there was a Viking, too, he got for free. Uh, so, not yeah. ideal there. I mean, Vi Hellbats beat Marines, but I think it was about 20 Marines to 4 Hellbats. Plus, there was tanks supporting him. So, yeah. in, in those type of numbers, there's nothing that beats anything. Unless it's, you know, like, Banshees versus something that doesn't shoot air. Um, so maybe a little bit rash by the Muslim, a little bit overconfident in, in the power of the Hellbat. You do have to have, you know, roughly half their army size. Oh, the here he goes, igniting the afterburners, going straight to the main base. SCVs are going to be pulled over here. Hellbat's being dropped. Getting a lot of kills. Uh, I think four or five SCVs going down there. Actually, no, only two workers killed, so... Oh, and that medevac it's is dead. going to die there's as well. A, there's a Viking there. Yeah, yeah there's no way this can escape. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if that, if there was one marine shot less, it would have escaped. Because I think that shot that killed it was the last marine shot that actually could hit it before we get out of range. So that's kind of funny. It almost did escape. Uh, Maker going on a counterattack saying, you know what? I've killed two medevacs and six hellbats, and I've lost almost nothing. That means I'm stronger, right? Not three medevacs? I think one of them escaped from that first uh, drop. I'm not positive. Um, I, I, oh. I, I could have been mistaken. We got uh, two medevacs very close oh, to this Don't do it to Muslim. I don't know, man. He, he loves it. It seems like he really enjoys... One more time, though, and he might not have enough units to continue. Especially because he's, he's going mech behind us, it, so it's, it's not like his production is, is very high right now. I wonder where Maker's going to set up here. It looks like he wants to go straight to that third. Might take down these rocks. I, he's going to try to elevate her into the main. He's going to try to... There's camp. a lot of Vikings there. Yeah, though. the Muslim has a, has a better air control, so Maker's going to have to burn scans to, to make this happen. We already have a tank sieged up on the high ground there from the Muslim. And there's that scan you're talking about. The scan was late, though, and, and he already lost one of his tanks. I, I just don't see how he's going to make this happen. Oh, yeah, he's going to back up. I mean, you know, once you approach this point, you see three Vikings out of your opponent. It's, it's going to be very difficult to make that work, especially he only had one Viking of his own. Perhaps he's thinking, okay, my opponent has been making a lot of meta, actually sell that drops. He's not going to have a lot of Vikings. But, but uh, the Muslim's saying, nope, I'm going to make some. He has three Vikings in total and going to be able to shut that down. The Muslim's been reactoring out air units for quite a while now, so he's got plenty of both medevacs and Vikings. Well, of course, he's, he's lost a bunch of medevacs, so that counts decrease. Maker uh, trying to, a, a low ground assault again from another angle. Yeah, scanning, getting his SMB kills. Yep, this is actually going to be worth it as long as he backs away before his army. Actually, 
this army might be too small. He might just be actually solid. You know, Demosman right can just potentially flank. That's exactly what he's going to do. Setting those medevacs in, and this is going to be plenty enough Hellbats to deal with this push. Marines getting sent to the ground. Tanks have no chance whatsoever. And Demuslim is up 111 to 69 in supply. Cleaning up that push from Maker. That was a lot of fragments. Look at all those Hellbats. That was such a bad engagement from Maker. Overstate is welcome a little bit against a player who is massing Hellbats. And now Demuslim with a counter swing is going to try to get damage done. But he only has one siege tank. But he has 20 Hellbats. That's true. 20 Eight. Hellbats. Maker's gonna have to find a way to prevent the Hellbats from closing the distance. Maybe cutting backwards with them. I like how he's moving on the map. This is actually really smart. Uh, he, he can do some damage and, and, and back away, but he's gotta have medevacs too, so yeah. he can kill these units. Because again, if you stem, you know, no medevacs, they're just gonna stem themselves to death eventually. Hellbats coming forward here. He's gonna ignite those afterburners. He's gonna try to drop on top of these Marines and Marauders. The tank is gonna give a uh, friendly fire if he's not careful, but the Muslim storming into his opponent's natural expansion, surging forward with the Hellbats, picking up some more, putting him in medevacs, trying to get better concaves, and that's just going to be too much. There's the GG from Maker, and the Muslim takes the 2-1 victory, and he'll be your first person to uh, to move on to the next round of the Challenger League practice stage. That last push was just an absolute yeah. <laughs> It was like 20 Hellbats just walking in. And man, Demuslim, uh, I feel like he's been watching some uh, some Straylock games, or actually a lot of those European Terrans, they, they love their uh, their Hellbats. Look at this, Hellbats dropping all over Maker's army, and just nothing lives. I mean, absolutely nothing survives those flame bursts if the Hellbats can close the distance. Demuslim, you really utilizing the Medivacs in, in such a powerful way to get those Hellbats to close that distance, and, and, and basically utilize the fact that their damage per second is, is extremely high, yeah. but their range is low. Really cool play there from Domozlo, of course. You know, Maker making a fight out of it, right? Game number two, able to make that base trade happen and then even up the series. But the Muslim able to take the game, uh, game number three, and able to take the match. So, congrats to the Muslim. He's going to be the first player from uh, the qualifying section of the Challenge League, the players who got there by, by qualifying, to take out a player who dropped from the Premier League. Maker is going to go down to the group stage of the Challenge League, and that's going to, again, conclude our first match of the night. Coming up next is going to be Illusion versus Maxed which should be a very exciting match between the American and, of course, uh, the player from China, uh, Maxed. So, guys, stay tuned. Illusion versus Maxed coming up.